Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build our amazing modern house. And in today's episode, we return to our second story where we're going to build one awesome bedroom with bunk beds and one really cool and bouncy rug. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to our modern house and all aboard the awesome train. Whoa, 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 zombie doorman here. Excuse me, zombie. All aboard the awesome train because we're on our way to make some awesome stuff. But we'll take uh, one stop here at our previous episode where we built this amazing living room. Look at that fireplace over there. Awesome. We got some really cool little furniture and shelves and all sorts of stuff. But one thing I noticed was that the ceiling's a little bit blank and a little bit uh, boring. So we, we need to do something about that, but I'm not quite sure what to do. So I'm going to be doing some thinking about that ceiling and try to uh, jazz it up a little bit. All right, so let's go up to our upper level here. And here is our project room for the day. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna build a bunk bed over here and a bouncy rug and the rest we're just gonna come up as we go along. So one thing I found was, this is our previous room we built and this was for like a smaller child because you know we got these really cool little paintings of uh, fishes on the ceilings and stuff like that. But what cool thing about this was, this room has a uh, room for a bathroom. And I thought this room would too, but it turned out I actually don't. And this room is actually farther over to the side of the house than that one. So it's kind of a disappointment, but we'll work around it. So first thing here, let's get some floor down. Let's bring down the floor, pound some nails and get this floor all settled up so we can start to get to the cool little details. So we'll get that done, get that all built in here. There we go. Good, good. All right, so now we're just going to add some extra detail around the room. So add our little columns across here. Jump down there. Bring up that. And then we will line the ceiling with our ceiling material of our choice here. There we go. And then we will do a skylight up the top because I love skylights. We'll go into our magical inventory and get out our glass. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now we need to build our bunk bed. So let's get up some materials here. So we'll start with the mattresses. We're going to go one, two, three. So we're going to go three here. Let's actually go four. Let's do four. And then just fill that in right there. And then we'll add the other mattress above here. There we go. And then let's see, we'll do the same. Oh, we'll do the same here. And then lower that down like so. Knock out that. Perfect. And then we're just going to go like so. Oop, oop. I'm all over the place on my block placement today. I'm getting a failing grade. Um, does that look okay? No, I think I'm actually going to knock that out and just go with a standard half slab across. I think that looks better. What do you think? Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so we got that now. Let's actually get out a pole or a fence post, if you will. And we will put that right there. Kind of hold up that side. And right here, this is a screaming ladder for me right here. Screaming ladder. There we go. All right. So now let's get rid of you and you, and we'll get out our snow. So here's our snow pillows. Get those up here. There we go. All right. Now we got to pick a color for our bedspreads. So blanket colors, orange, magenta, gray, lilac. Wait, lilac's a plant. Not putting plants up. All right. So I'm thinking maybe this is a boy's room. So... Maybe like a lime green, a red, or a blue. Let's go with maybe these two colors for now. We'll see how these look. You can always come back and change them as we go along. So let me know what color you guys think would be kind of cool for a boy's room. Lime green would be cool, but that's what we're going to use for our bouncy carpet. So we'll see about that. All right, good. We got that done. I like that. I like that quite a bit. So let's actually go up here and then just add these right there. All right. I think that is one awesome bunk bed. Okay, so next thing we want to do, let's go straight into our carpet. So let's get out some light gray and our slimy bouncy block. So we're going to place bouncy block right here, right here, right there. And then I'm going to cover that up like so. There we go. And if we need to, we can always put, you know, glowstone under the carpet or something along those lines. And look at this. So this is what I've got here. So we got this awesome bouncy block that I added to Minecraft, which is the coolest thing they've ever added. And look at this bounce, bounce, and bounce. Well, I didn't do very good, but if imagine if you were a child in the house and this was your rug. You jump down at the in the morning and you bounce out of your room. And then in the night, you bounce up into your bed like that. That's awesome. 
coolest rug of all time. Okay, so we got that done. Let's see here. Let's remove our glowstone and let's add a let's add like just a nice window right here. So we'll just add a window. Standard window design we use throughout the house. There we go. And we'll click that along there like so. Perfect. We can do a nice nightstand here maybe. So we'll just go out one here from there. Um, I'm gonna actually do just a standard one like that. What looks better? I think that looks nice. All right, um, let me just zoom up here, grab that, and let's grab out an item frame. And we gotta have a bedside clock. So we're just gonna stick you right there. And where do they hide the bedside clocks? Where, where are you? Wait, I saw it, there it is. Haha, <laughs> there it is, you, hide, you hid from us. You hid from us, but we gotcha. Okay, um, let's add a windowsill under here. There we go, perfect, all right. So we got some blank walls here to fix up here. So we got this blank wall and we got this blank wall. So how are we going to do with that? So we could do like a computer desk maybe, some type of book shelving, some kind of, you know, some shelving of some kind for some books maybe. So let's see what we got behind this wall here. Oh, there's our bathroom. So we can go about that high there. Oh, no, that bumps into the living or the uh, entryway, which I thought that would be the case. And that's our bathroom. So that's kind of creepy looking in there. All right, so let's say we just do a desk across here like that. There we go, put that like so. And let's zoom up here and plop like that. And yeah, so we got a desk now built up. So let's see here. So let's go into our magical inventory. And let's get out a painting. And this could be kind of our computer screen. So what painting looks like a computer screen? Hmm. Yeah, we'll call it that one for a while. We we'll can change it later. I don't want to. I don't want to play play spin the uh, portrait. Okay, there we go. Got that. Um, what do you think about some more shelving along here, possibly? You know me and my shelving. I like a lot of shelving. Yeah, I think that might be nice. We could also hmm, turn it aside. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, I like that. I like what it did with the desk down there. That's nice. Yeah, I don't mind that. We'll, we'll come back and maybe readdress maybe an extra little decoration here or here. But I wanna put some shelving up here for books. So let's grab a, a bookcase. There's our bookcase. Great, there we go. And fill that in like so. Let's see here. Let's actually put shelves like so. Hmm, let's put shelves like that. Now, I think I'm gonna go with stairs. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna put a stair here. If I can get them on the right plane, there we go. And then I'm gonna do another set right there. Now from here, I'm just gonna clear out my inventory and I am going to get some heads. Yeah, nothing like these heads. If you're in creative mode, you to take every opportunity to use all the things you can. Oops, there we go. I'm gonna place you right there, you right there. Like there, that's awesome. If I was a kid and I had these in my room, I'd be super scared, but it'd be super awesome. There we go. Perfect. There we go. That's just like American Horror Story right there. All these little heads watching you as you sleep. <laughs> All right. You know, still wondering if I wanted to do like half slabs, but we'll come back to that maybe a little bit later. All right. So give me a few seconds. Let me kind of look around, see if any other improvements we can make. Let me catch my breath and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So did a few changes. So let's pop on in here real quick. All right, so what we've done over here, I just added just an extra little plant here. And over here, I added these little button doors over here. So I'll just show you real quick how to make one of those. So you just place button down and then place this over it and then that and then flip it over there to how you want. So that just acts as a little drawer that kind of opens up. So let's just add these as little armrests for our chair over here. So just adding a little extra detail. And then one thing I thought, let's grab that and then let's put that over that. So that just adds a, that little extra detail for our computer that actually looks like it's a flat panel monitor up against that wall. So I think that's pretty good there. Um, I did switch out the quartz stairs for these dark chocolate um, stairs and I think they look a little nicer. Added a little detail pillars at the top. And I also put some glowstone under here for a little extra light in that area. So yeah, I think that is just about it. I think we've got one pretty awesome little room here. Really quick, simple, but nice design throughout. And I really like that bunk bed design. I think that uh, I think that came out really nice. So let's just finish that over there. 
any other design. No, I think that's it. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Put in our snow now. And we're going to start to bring that up a little bit. Just kind of play with it a little bit to kind of the heights that you want. This is always kind of a fun alternative to using, you know, some type of clay or wool for your furniture. Because this just kind of adds a little bit more design to it. You can kind of